Welcome to back to the Retro Sports League. Today we got a special guest on our hand. It's Super Luke 27, fresh from San Diego, California, and this is a game requested by Adam, NBA Jam, Tournament Edition on the PlayStation 1. What's yeah. up, Super Luke? Hey, um, I just want to say real quick, um, go subscribe to my, um, my uncle. Yeah, so just do it, and I'll be very happy, and if you don't mind, just go sub to me, um, just the name is Super Luke 27 so... Um, that, um, just go on there and sub to me, and, um, we'll be happy, and today we are here, um, to entertain you with some NBA Jam on the PlayStation 1, right? Or is it PlayStation 2? This is the PlayStation 1. Okay. So this game came out first on Super Nintendo and Genesis, and then it later came out in, like, the Jaguar, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. So these versions of the game are actually better uh, graphically for sure, sound quality, uh, it's all there. Now, I will say, this isn't one of my favorite versions of NBA Jam, uh, especially against the computer, uh, the players are a little bit slidey, yeah. um, but, you know, if you're just playing versus someone, this game looks great, and it is a lot of fun. AFK. Look <laughs> at <laughs> Uh, so what what's your experience with NBA Jam? Um, well, my experience is um, I don't know. Um, well, I started playing NBA Jam on the on the Nintendo Wii or well, just the Wii. Um, the original, yeah, the Wii version. Yeah. And that's how I started. What's up, Brandon? Yeah, NBA Jam girls. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, One okay. of the other things about this game is they actually screwed up the stats. Uh, as far as oh, yeah. what's in red, those attributes should actually be in green. Um, and the white should actually be in red. So they kind of screwed all of that up. So if you're comparing this version versus any other version besides the Saturn, which is also screwed up, the stats are a little confusing. What's yeah. up, Adam? This game, we're playing for you. This is this is the guy who requested. Yeah. Oh. You're nice going with the Bulls? You. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with... Uh, let me see. I'll probably go with... Nah. Magic. I want to see how big Bradley is. I'm going to go with the Sixers. Okay. Sean Bradley, he's 7'6", one of the tallest players of all time in the NBA. 23rd most popular team in this location for the 76ers. I'm not too surprised with that one. <laughs> wow. So what do you think your chances are of winning this game? I don't know. Um, I, I play a lot of first-person games, so I don't really play basketball. You need to get on it. You're in the Retro Sports League. Yeah. <laughs> I need to... All right. Come on. Let's go. So he's controlling Scotty Pippen. And yeah, Sean Bradley is bigger. That's what's cool about the PlayStation version is the sprites are all look like the guys. They all have individual sprites. And the heights are even adjusted accordingly. As you can see, Sean Bradley is the biggest guy in the court. So that you can definitely appreciate this game for that. And like I said, just playing one on one or four players, this is just about as close to the arcade as you can get. Uh, Saturn version as well. I prefer the Atari Jaguar version, it's my favorite. Uh, just because when you play the computer, um, also the way the guys move and they dunk the ball, it's the I feel like it's the closest to the arcade gameplay. It's also very similar to like the Genesis and Super Nintendo versions, which I grew up playing. But then it has like all the the scaling amenities of the players, uh, also some individual sprites, and it also says the players' names announcing. That was a big deal actually back in the day. They wow. Just, Say the player names when they were announcing. Oh, wow. I didn't know that at all. Yeah. Like, if we play the Genesis or Super Nintendo versions, 
It'll announce the names. It does not announce the names at all. It does not? No. It's only in these types of consoles it does. Yeah, PlayStation, Saturn, Atari, Jaguar, it does the names. There's a version of this on the Sega 32X. You might not be familiar with it. I do have the game. I just don't have the 32X yet. Bradley with the huge dunk. But, oh, that uh, was good. But yeah, the 32X version does not say the players' names either, even though it does like the player scaling and stuff. And when I say player scaling, I'm just mean like it, it gives it the aspect that it's actually a 3D game, even though it's 2D. Yeah. Because the players, as they go to the far side of the court, they get smaller. Oh. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then I come and then I get bigger. Yeah. That also was a big deal back when these games came out. Oh, it was? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're keep we're keep going. Oh, I don't even know why I did that. It's all right. Let's see if Bradley could hit a three. Oh, Sean Bradley, got member blocked. in the Space Jam. All right, Bradley can't shoot threes. <laughs> Adam, you always play on Sega, yeah? I really like the Sega version. Uh, I like how it plays the music during the gameplay, like this one. The Jaguar also does that, although the music's kind of funky. The music's way better in this. Uh, but what I did notice, if you're playing four players, the Genesis version does not designate the, col the icons by color. They're all both guys on the same team are the same color, which kind of sucks. Um, I noticed that playing in a tournament. The Magic is your team. You can't go wrong with the Magic. Nick Anderson, Anthony Hardaway, Horace Grant. Horace Grant provides the power where the other guys provide the three-point shooting, and Nick Anderson could do the dunks as well as Horace Grant. I think they get Dennis Scott on the extended roster. Yeah, I think they do. But everyone would, uh, everyone would love to just use Shaq and Anthony Hardaway. That's what it's about. Joseph Moore, what's up? Green Magic in the house. I'm here with my nephew, Super Luke 27. Yeah. Playing some NBA Jam TV action. What's oh, gold man. trending? On PlayStation 1. Gold, it's not trending. It's gold tending. Oh. It's when you when you block the, the shot when it's on its way down. Oh. You can actually stick your hand through the rim and gold tend that way too, but oh. you can't actually do it in this game. No, no. Get Whoa. down. <laughs> Run. The other thing about this version of the game is the clock is slower than the other versions, which you wouldn't think is a big deal because you get more jam. Yeah. But it makes each game, plus the loading, take take considerably longer. Forever. <laughs> that felt like a long first quarter to you, right? Yeah. That Didn't I score almost 30 points yeah. in the first quarter? Yeah. I only scored like 17. <laughs> the greater a player's pass rating, the faster he passes. It is more difficult to intercept a quick pass than a slow pass. You should always try a turbo pass. Okay. So just that just means hold turbo. Oh, I meant to switch guys, but oh well. I'm back yeah. on Sean Bradley. What's up, chat? How are you guys doing right now? <laughs> They'll be doing better if you make a comeback. Yeah. They're not like they don't want to see a blowout. No. Seventeen points isn't cutting the mustard with the Chicago Bulls. Oh. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Wow, you're playing patty cake or hot potato. <laughs> oh come on, let's go. No, I Bradley's can't fall. taking over this game. We're not falling. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Nice, now you get the hang of it. Yeah. Throwing in some big time dunks. Yeah. So I'm trying, I just recently, Joseph says he's doing fine, doing great. That's good. I recently played College Slam on Sega Saturn and I'm trying to get a feel for Okay. If it actually feels different than this version, or just the same, yeah, because this one and the Sega Saturn versions are pretty much the same, and I, it actually isn't as slidey as I remember it—the player movement on the court. But yeah, 
Oh wait, I have the ball. Yeah, you have the ball. The screen we're playing on is a good screen, but the court looks very reddish compared to the Bulls' colors. You yeah. actually, it looks different on our TV screen than it does on the stream because I'm looking at both. Yeah. Yes. You're getting the game plan uh, advice here. Dunk it with Pippin. Yeah. This is a little 10 point game. Nothing, nothing to sneeze at here. Oh. Someone just got a facial right there. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Whoops. Give me the ball. Oh. Weatherspoon getting up. Uh oh. So yeah, if you guys are in the chat, what is your favorite version of NBA Jam TV? I think I have all of them besides the uh, PC version, and I don't have the arcade cabinet, unfortunately. But let's not include arcade because that's that's the actual legit one. Yeah. All the ports because there's very many ports of the NBA Jam TV. Um, Including Game Gear and uh, Game Boy. Oh, I didn't know that there was actually so many. Oh yeah, there's there's probably at least eight, maybe ten. Dang. I remember being a kid in the '90s, always playing NBA Jam tournament on the arcade. <laughs> Play. Oh, I think he means playing. Yeah, those that's, those are great games. College. What's up, D Dubs? Oh, I got I got a little. Uh, College Slam is best on PlayStation Saturn. I haven't played it. It has more mode season. Quick play attorney. Yeah, I really liked College Slam on Sega Saturn. I was really surprised to see that you could ollie oop in that game. I, I thought that was just like something they were hyping up on the back of the the game. You know how they have like little things like, you can do this in this game, but you can actually throw oops. Yeah. And Joseph says SNES, NBA Jam TE, and... Can't complain about that one. That well, that's the one I had back in the day. That one in the original NBA Jam. Yeah. I played the crap out of those two games. <laughs> and the, the NBA Jam TE on Super Nintendo was better, just for the simple fact that you could actually save the your record on a battery save, because you couldn't do that on the original Jam for Super Nintendo, and that was a huge bummer. Ah. Oh. Little jumper. Well, so much weather school. I'm, I'm still not on pace for the century mark. I'm a little under. I'm slacking off this quarter. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I? So College Slam is very similar to NBA Jam. It came out a little bit after it. 51. I am, I am on pace for 100. So. You know, what do you what do you guys like better, NBA Jam TE or College Slam? Because they're very similar games, but you know, there's a few different things you could do in College Slams. Oh, look at this! Oh Bradley. my God! That's Sean Bradley beating it. Dang! <laughs> Into the bleachers. Dang! All right. <laughs> Hey, 31 points with Pippen, that's not bad. But Harper's getting injured, 19, that's not good. Yeah. NBA Jam was definitely not on the Dreamcast. Uh, the Dreamcast started with NBA Showtime as the earliest game on the system. And it, it, has, it is actually the best version of the game. You could compare it and even say it's better than the arcade. That's, that's when the arcade started going downhill. TE greater than Hang Time, greater than NBA Jam, greater than College Slam. And you really can't go wrong with any of those games. Um, I would have a hard time putting those all in order. Um, yeah, they're all great games, but TE is a good one. Um, both. Yeah, I would say with TE, I do really like TE. Um, okay, so select changes your player. Um, which one? Oh, this select button. The, you know, if you're actually playing like skill versus skill in this game, the injuries has a huge 
factor in the outcome of the game because if you get pushed so many times and you only have three players, uh, that can that can be an issue because your guy will be moving so slow it's going to be hard to get down the court to score and you could just keep getting pushed over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not Coaching good. tip for Super Luke. He needs to push. Yeah. Do you know how to push? No. That's the problem. So yeah. you hold turbo, R1, one. yeah, and then you hit the steal button, which is X. Oh, okay. I just fell here, down. Go, here. Excuse there you go. Oh, okay. That's the NBA Jam signature. Besides for jamming, dunking the ball itself, that's the second best thing in NBA Jam. Pushing dudes over. College Slam animations are different than TE. Why, why did I throw it over? <laughs> yeah, hang time on 64 is... That is pretty close to the arcade as well. I remember going over to a friend's house who got it right when it came out. And I was, I was just amazed by that game. I loved it. But yeah, you know, with NBA Jam TE, you can actually compare... A few different versions with, you know, PlayStation, Saturn, and Atari Jaguar, and even the PC. Whereas Hang Time is hands down the best on the Nintendo 64. It's not even a question. PlayStation version is 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 pretty good as well, but it's it's not as good as the 64 version. And then the Genesis and Super Nintendo versions, even though it's amazing that those games got on those systems and they play well. Actually, they're just not as good. And then. Like uh, Adam said, the NBA Jam was never on the Dreamcast, but NBA Showtime is by far the best on the Dreamcast. There you go. And, you know, the NBA Jam name after Acclaim took the rights from uh, Midway after NBA Jam TV, that's when things started going downhill for the any game named NBA Jam. McLean actually was bold enough to take the name and actually come out with their own arcade cabinet and game called NBA Jam Extreme and had Sean Kemp on the cover. They had Marv Albert as an announcer, but the game play was just absolutely awful. You know, you just you, you don't take a name on something you didn't create and then try to create your own and just trash it up. Yeah. But they never really made a good NBA Jam game. I guess the best one you could say they made is NBA Jam on PlayStation 2. It's it's a playable game. It's kind of fun, but still sucks compared to NBA Street and the rest of the NBA Jam games. Yeah. Bradley's just loving life. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Do this! What? Data barrels! What's wrong with the CPU? He threw it at no one. So, have you guys played any of the NBA Jam games that Acclaim made? Um, because Acclaim. Originally, what they did with these games is they just ported them over for Midway to the consoles. And I don't know how they got the rights to the name, but they did. But College Slam is one that Midway had nothing to do with, but Acclaim actually, that, that's the best game that they made. They should have stuck with the formula. NBA Jam on N64, it sucks. Played our fat and ugly players I just played last month. Never owned it as a kid. Uh, you know what, NBA Jam, yeah, I think it like has Keith Van Horn on the cover. And they try to make it like a simulation mode as well. Yeah, the game is terrible. Not that any of the 64 uh, games besides Hang Time, or at least basketball games, are worth it. 71, I got to score 29 in this quarter to get 100. One last quarter. Did I play NBA Hoops? Yes. NBA Hoops is a good game. For PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast, the Dreamcast version for some reason is rarer now because of all the Dreamcast collectors, so it cost you an arm and a leg to get that one, but it's only like 10 bucks on PlayStation 2. I actually bought that game brand new when it came out, expected big things. 
Dang. But I was, you know, even though it was three on three, that was cool. They took away the putting in your initials and keeping stats. So that that, that just ruined it for me because I was always a stat keeper. And without being able to do that, I was highly disappointed. Ah. So I'm going with Weatherspoon, and I'll just put Bradley there for some blocks in the I'll just stay second with the player. Same. Oh, um. Your guys got big time injuries. Yeah. You didn't even want to see who was on your bench, did you? No, I just wanted to play the game. <laughs> I, I'm just here to play the game. <laughs> I've come to play the game, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm just gonna pass it over there. That was almost like. A... Why? Why did he pass it back all the way to me? Are Weather we... smooth because you were back there. If you ask him to pass, that's um. what he's gonna do. But yeah, NBA hoops. It actually plays a lot like Showtime, but when you go from you know, NBA and NBC music, and you got all the stats that you want in NBA Showtime, and then you switch to NBA Hoops that has no stats and then crappier music. Uh, just didn't, just didn't do it for me. Didn't care about the 21 mode in NBA Hoops. So, oh. Super Luke, you have too many injuries. Yeah, I do. He, he, you know, he's he's still getting used to this version of NBA Jam. Yeah, remember I used to play like the Wii version. The Wii version is his first experience at NBA Jam, so... Yeah. And then... He's learning the ropes right now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I played, like, a lot Joey of... Joey Kukoc! He wanted it so bad! The Croatian sensation! Wait. Oh, nice! Yeah, three points. That helped a lot. Why the spoon? Seventy Sixers, they might be an underrated team with the size of Weatherspoon and uh, Sean Bradley. NBA Showtime was on the N sixty four. I do have that. It's not. I wouldn't even say it's the second best version because they had to scale down a lot of the game. Oh, so there's sound missing that is included on the PlayStation. And it only looks slightly better than the PlayStation. I would say the PlayStation version of Showtime's actually better than the N64. Uh, but it's on there. Oh, it's I, I actually... But you know what's not playable? NBA Hoops on the PlayStation. That, had, that game had no business being on the PlayStation. <laughs> what are my thoughts on NBA Jam by EA Sports? I actually liked the game. Oh, uh, the cool first one that came out on the Wii, and then shortly after, Xbox and PS3. Uh, I don't like the shooting as far as everyone has their own signature shot. It just takes way too long to shoot for most of the guys, so they're easy to block. Uh, also, there was no online play included in the Wii. So that sucked because you pretty much had to buy the PS3 or Xbox version to get that. And it was a full price game at 50 bucks. So I ended up doing that, being an NBA Jam fan. We had some fun, me and my brother, playing that game online, not going to lie. Uh, but the soundtrack wasn't that good. With the Xbox 360, you can actually burn your own CDs and play that in the background. So that's what we did. We basically took all the music from the older games and played it on there. Uh, the NBA Jam on Fire Edition though was a lot better just for the fact they added like uh, Team Fire, some of the other stuff that was missing from the original Jam. Overall if I was grading the game I'd give it like a B. It, it was a good good version of NBA Jam. I like the player expressions and all that stuff. I just don't know if it's stuck true to the gameplay. I got it! Finally! 100 points. So as you can see, NBA Jam Tournament Edition on PlayStation, the games take a lot longer and you can score Six more win. points. 
Sixers won. Sixers won. Super Luke, you know, he gave it his best shot. Yeah. First game in a retro sports league. Yep. You know, I'm pretty impressed with what he did. Where's my Sean Bradley highlight? There it is. Boom. Yeah. Didn't you have to jump for that dunk? He did. <laughs> it didn't look like it. <laughs> I thought he... Yeah, it didn't really look like he jumped at all. Oh, player won 84 points. See, that's that's just not going to happen in other versions of NBA Jam TE. So, yeah, the speed's a little off in this game. We're just playing on normal. I would recommend putting it on very fast if you're going to play uh, the PlayStation or Saturn versions of this game because oh. the games take longer. Final score. Final score, 100 to 58. <laughs> 100. So, Super Luke, what, how, how would you grade this game? Um, even though it didn't win, I, I grade it with the, um, out of five, I grade it, um, four, four point nine. Really? That high? You really enjoyed this game? It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty cool. You like the sound and everything? It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so... The DJ Hostel, 4.9 out of 5. You got, you know a game's good when, uh, what, you're a freshman in high school? Yeah. Freshman in high school is given it a 4.9. Well, no, I'm in 8th grade. Oh, 8th grade? Yeah, freshman next year. Oh, next year, okay. When an 8th grader is given NBA Jam TE a 4.9 out of 5, you know it's a good game. Yeah. So they're requesting another game. You want to play another one? Sure. Uh, what game do you guys want? I think they want us to play another game of this. Okay. Oh, they're saying the um, NBA Jam 2011? Yes. Uh, I do have that game on the Wii, although my brother has it. And then um, I do have it on the PS3, although PS3 makes it very difficult for you to stream using a capture card and you can't do it straight from the system. Yeah. Go ahead and hit X. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Um, oh, real quick, fun fact, I actually do have, um, the Wii with the NBA Jam, I said Jam, I mean Jam, um, <laughs> uh, NBA Jam, um, and I've actually, I think I've unlocked all the levels on that, I just grinded through everything. Oh, you did? Yeah, I think... How long ago was that? I don't know, maybe, like, two years ago? If I'm still not done, I'll check and just basically um, finish everything. Because now, now you're feeling NBA Jam. Yeah. Let's go. All right. It's July. So you're getting more tips. Play as a team with power and or three-point ability. Since I know you probably don't know these old players since they were playing in the league before you were born. Yeah. I'll give you some tips on that. Okay. All right, so Magic are good. Um, the Rockets are good. Three-pointer wise, you're gonna get some good threes out of the Magic with Penny Hardaway. See, the thing that's weird, Otis Thorpe, like everything's in green, but th that should be actually everything's in white. So, like I said, the game screwed. They screwed. The developer screwed up the what color the attribute should be. Um, Magic, yeah. The Heat are actually pretty good. Harold Miner's way overrated. And Glenn Rice is a 9 and 3s. Is Golden State good in this, or is that? Uh, they are pretty solid. Who's their third player in the, in the PlayStation version? Cycli, yeah, he's not the greatest. He's got some power. The Spurs, Elliot, 6 and 3s, mm. not bad. But yeah, I would say the Magic are one of the best teams. I think I'm going with Golden State. You're going to go with Golden State? Alright. Yeah, I'll go with them. I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, let me see. Chris Webber. No, they're always really good in this game with Webber. Do they have that? Hornets are always super good. The Rockets are a hot team. Cavs are okay. Yeah, the Cavs aren't bad. I'm going to go with the Pacers. I, even though I'm from Chicago, I was always a Reggie Miller fan. He's got that nine three-pointers. Oh, 
Smith's is slow, but he's gonna be a giant. Be the Bucks. Uh, the Bucks, Finn Baker, Todd Day, Eric Murdoch. Those aren't those aren't my jam. Yeah. Those aren't my dudes. Vin Baker was good on the Bucks, though. Once he went to the Sonics, his career went downhill. Yeah. Here's the tip. All right. Let's Todd Day and Eric Murdoch. I don't really even remember them playing on any other team. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Reggie Miller, draining threes. Let's see if I can get 200 in this game. Okay. <laughs> Just joking. Those Rex Brecks on the They're just giving you uh, pointers. Oh, I almost got a three pointer. What's that? Yep. So, yeah, I mean, so the evolution of NBA Jam away from Midway started with the PlayStation 2 because some of the guys in the chat were talking about NBA hoops. And that game actually went downhill from Showtime, and then NBA Street just took it over. Dang. Uh, NBA Street is the original one, is probably the best basketball arcade game on the PlayStation 2. Do you guys disagree? What is your favorite version of either NBA Street on the pl PlayStation 2 or one of the other systems, or do you think there's a better arcade basketball game on the PS2 or even Xbox in that era? Miller's actually, uh, he's about as tall as Freewell. Miller's like 6'5". I like gold. I like gold 10. You're getting compliments from the chat. Nice Yay. slam. Uh -oh. Excuse me. I think excuse me was an addition from the PlayStation version. I don't think the announcer ever said excuse me in the arcade version. Yeah, I don't think he ever did. <laughs> So if you're hurting to play NBA Jam TE, there's many places to do it in Chicago. You could go play it at Headquarters Beer Cade, Galloping Ghost, uh, Logan Arcade has it. Pretty much all the beer cades around here have a version of NBA Jam. There's actually more versions of TE I see than original versions of Jam. Oh wow. Can you unlock secret characters? Yes. There's codes for each of the characters to unlock them. Oh no. Even on the PlayStation one. I think there's some different variations versus like Super Nintendo and Genesis, but you can do it. I've never been a big uh, unlocking character guy. Uh, I like to play with the guys that are in the NBA, but there were some cool ones like Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr. I like playing those. Former U.S. President's First Lady, no thank you. <laughs> Never plays those guys. Although you could definitely tell who they are, even in the Super Nintendo and Genesis version, with their gray and white hair. Uh, you're not doing too bad in this one. Hey. Warriors might be your team. Yeah. Maybe it's Miller. Maybe it's because I'm from California. Maybe. Are you so? Are you a Warriors fan? Kind of. I mean, I think they're really good now. Free well. Yeah, the Warriors won the NBA championship. Oh, my goaltended. That's Hillary not Clinton could throw down a tomahawk. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I had no desire to unlock Hillary Clinton <laughs> and play as her in NBA Jam. I go not again. I guess you can laugh at it for a quarter. Have you ever played any of the NBA streets? I don't think I've even heard of it, to be honest. What's the earliest system you had? The Wii. First the Wii's the first system? I think that's the first system I've ever owned. I think. Um, the next system would probably be Sega Genesis Remastered, that you got me. Mm-hmm. Third one would be 
Nintendo 64, technically, but I don't... Yeah. I don't have the plug for it. Like, someone just randomly gave it to me. They weren't going to use it anymore. That's a good gift. You got to get the cords for that. It's a good system. <clears throat> Hugo the Hornet and Sons of Gorilla, Joseph's favorite unlockable characters. Yeah, the NBA mascots were kind of fun. <clears throat> if you play the current day uh, NBA 2K series, there's like an In My Park feature where you can play with other guys that are your friends or you play with. And oh, wow. like one of the high, when you get to a high ranking, you get to play as like NBA mascots. Okay. Um. Should I just stay with the same team, or am I good? Uh, I would, see, the thing you want to look at is the injuries. So the guy with the highest injury, which is Sprewell, you want to take out. So go, I would go, hit select and go with Hardaway and Psych Leaf for this quarter. Oh, you should, you gotta hit select, not start. Uh-oh. Oh, well, they're still not that high. Oh, wait, that's why. You're in single digits, so you'll be all right over this quarter. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, um, I need another zombie dust. Yeah. I'm hey. parched. What? <laughs> Which one's better? The the classic? or Well, this is... The channel is made for classic, but... Since you know how there's a lot of newer games, like some... Like the gra um, other graphics? Which one's better? Like the retro, or in your opinion? With sports games? Yeah. The retro games are, f in my opinion, by far better because they're easy to pick up and play. Uh, and their fast. range, their range is further than just fans of sports games because they're such easy arcade fun pick up and play games like NBA Jam. There's ladies who like playing the game, guys who aren't usually into these type of games that just have yeah. fun playing it. Um, you don't get that with the current day sports titles because they're so in-depth. Just like any other, you know, AAA game. They're just so in-depth you have to sink a lot of type time into them. Yeah. You're getting more tips. Super Loop. Wait till Reggie squares up the three, then push him into the bleachers with Cycli. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's going to do that. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're telling us to recycle on the uh, announcer's table over there. Wait, so circle is to jump? Well, see, I just use X and square. But circle and X both do the same thing, so does triangle and square. Nice three. Thanks. Well, yeah, that was a good question. Uh, these games are by far better, I think, especially for a wider range of people. Yeah. Because, like, if we were playing NBA 2K or NHL, I'd have to explain, like, modern day, yeah. I'd have to explain so many controls to you, like, we wouldn't even be playing yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, with here in the classic, you could just pick it up oh, and so do cool. whatever. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. So Adam says my secret favorite secret character was Mortal Kombat on NBA Jam. Now I don't know if any of the console versions could unlock Mortal Kombat characters. I didn't know I that. I could be wrong. But I know the arcade version for sure. And then the other comment was from Joseph. Don't recycle, recycle. Okay. So he really wants to see cycling in this game. For you. Okay. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I keep on jumping for no reason. How do you think the crowd looks in this game? I think it, I think it has some decent graphics. Um, wait, what? Yeah, what I would say PlayStation, especially when we got to like 2D yeah. mockups like this. This is when they really started getting respectable. Now, PlayStation 3D, that's a different story. Yeah. With Saturn and PlayStation 2D games, they look really good. Hey, um, so, you know... Unlock Beastie Boys on SNES? Really? I didn't know that. Take that, take that. 
Oh, wait, is it only the second quarter? <laughs> yeah, I told you, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> it takes forever. <laughs> yeah. The other game versus the NBA Jam, the clock doesn't move to slow. No, it moves pretty fast. Miller got that clutch. Oh. He bricks it. Okay, good halftime. Good half, 56 37. Man. Yeah. You think you could hold down the string during the halftime while I get another beer? Sure. Alright. Just read, I'll read the, um, just read the chat, guys. Halftime. Um, maybe. I think you can update it for College Jam. Yeah, there should be a way. Is there a way to update the, the roster for the College Jam? No. College Slam? I have not seen that. There's just enough time for Cycle to mount a comeback. Do you believe that for one second? Yeah. I think. What do I have? No, I don't. Reggie Miller's hot. No, there is an update though for NBA Jam T on Super Nintendo. Hogs with the blog. He actually uh, he put all the new players into the game. It's NBA Jam 2K17 or 16. I forget. Good? But I have it over there somewhere. That one, right? Yeah, that's good. I think I'm going to take out Miller for a quarter and go with well, Big yeah. Rick Smith's ten, yeah, no, 10 injuries, but you got to heal up Miller for the fourth quarter. Yeah. So, guys, we're only at halftime, but we got a, we got another stream or two left in us to, for tonight. So, are there any retro sports games that you would like to see us play next? Yeah. Excuse me. Because Super Luke, he came all the way from San Diego, California, so he's not just coming here to stream one game. Yeah, I'm coming here to stream a lot. <laughs> so, so, so what are your suggestions? Oh no, I hope that doesn't mean you want me to play some more tackle. <laughs> I think, you know, this is the Retro Sports Gamer channel, but I think it's almost like it turned into a funk channel. <laughs> yeah. I think half the videos are techno <laughs> at this point. I think they are. I do have Tecmo Super Bowl on the PlayStation. We could play that. Although, it's nothing uh, too impressive versus <laughs> the Nintendo game, that's for sure. Yeah. Smitty for three! Oh! Oh, I got the ball. So the other thing you notice if you play the computer on this game is the passes do not go through very well. So you almost just want to hold on to the ball and go slam it yourself. There's a lot of interceptions with the computer. But that's one of the more annoying things with the PlayStation and Saturn versions. But as much as I like the Jaguar NBA Jam TE, what's Tecmo? <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, I will say, playing the computer, even though there's not like an interception issue per se, there's a there's definitely an attribute rating issue, because the computer, no matter who they are, can hit like at least 80% of the threes, and you could have Reggie Miller with a 9 three point and go 0 for 10. Yeah. So that's kind of how they even it out when you're playing the computer. The AI is really cheap in that game. But, you know, if you got a Jaguar team tap and four Jaguar controllers, you got to bust it out. That's all I'm saying. Who's the last team you play in this jam? Still the Rockets? Who's the last team? Oh, yeah. I think it is the Rockets because they won the championship. I guess uh, after we finish this game, we can go through the credits and see who's at the top. But I'm pretty sure it is the Rockets. 
Because they won two years in a row, so... Yeah. What? I didn't jump for some reason. So if Jordan never lost the, left the Bulls, would they have won eight championships in a row? Maybe. We may never know, but you can figure they probably would have. What's my team doing? Cycling for three! Joseph's love and life. Oh! Cycling, and it's a 10 point game. 10 point! Not as good with Rick Smith's. So, yeah, put your thinking cap on. I don't know if it's gonna be tech ball. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you're hitting up. Excuse me! Oh. Excuse me. Oh, Cycli. Cycli is tearing it up in this third quarter. Yeah. I say. That's some good advice. What? Excuse me! <sighs> you, Gold. <laughs> that was you. It was me. Oh. Gold trending! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> I was about to shoot that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Time ran out. Yeah, so did we just finish? Oh wait, we're on the fourth quarter, right? Yeah, not not so fast. We <laughs> got a fourth quarter coming up for you, and this is a four point nine out of five rated by Super Luke. Yep. Cycling knows recycling. I'm a jamma. Yep. What game should we play after this? Well, we got plenty to choose from. 23 injuries for McKee. Miller and Smith is the classic combo. Is he good? Spreewell's good to go. Okay. This one is not going to overtime. Okay. This is not a Brian Lumberjack Crack special <laughs> from the other night. Monday Night Football. Demon Tap Monday Night Football. Yeah. Anything goes. Stream starts out clean and then uh, Lumberjack Cracks goes off the rails. Yep. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, I didn't get that at all. Rejected. We went on the way with the board. Cycling. Hey, your computer player is just not doing anything good for you. I miss Brian. Have you seen uh, the couple of streams that I did with Brian? I think I did. You did see? Yeah, I think I have. Um... He's an interesting combo. Chemist and Uber driver. Yeah. They just don't come like that anymore, you know? No. <laughs> Thinking about starting my own YouTube channel. How you upload a video on YouTube. Um, well, there's very many ways to do it, and you know, Super Luke's actually good guy to ask. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so, um, it depends on what type of content you want to put out there. Like, like, what do you want to put out there? That's the question. So, like, doing what we're doing now, you need a capture card, and you can download the free software. Yeah. That's what we're using now for this stream, or you can use OBS if you want to get a little fancier with overlays, and that's also free software. Yeah. Uh, just for straight uploading, I mean, you could upload from your phone, you can make a little video uh, on your computer. There's actually a free edit editing software called OpenShot that I found the other day for Windows. Um, and then Mac comes with iMovie, so you could upload straight to YouTube from those. And if you have a Chromebook, um, you can use a um, software called Filmora Go, or I mean Filmora, which um, I use, but I use Filmora Go for my phone since I'm always on Reggie. the go. Oh, goaltending! It's not good. It was going in. It was Reggie Miller. Who you kidding? You might as well go ten every shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stolen. See that interception right there? <laughs> See. Yeah, the live streaming. I 
really enjoy because I could just kind of free flow. And then if there's people in the chat, it's fun interacting with them. Yeah, so, live stream is the way to go. I, I liked editing the Retro Sports Gamers episodes that I did, but you know, having an office job, sitting at a computer, and editing at home on a computer, that was just too much for me after a while. So, just coming on, playing, sharing my knowledge, oh! games with people. Nice dunk, you're on fire, you might come back. Yeah. Latrell Sprewell's doing it. I thought I would score more points with the pacing, but it's not looking that way. Card away with the killer crossover, no crossovers, NBA Jam. Just straight up forward dribbling. Oh dang. You can switch hands though. Oh, what do you mean? Like, actually? Video games. So Adam wants to, he wants to stream video games. Okay, well, what type? On mobile or console? Probably console versions. I would say if you want to do exactly what we're doing now, you need a game capture card. And then you could download the free game capture uh, software. Elgato is the brand. It's E L G A T O. And you could do the same thing that we're doing now. You also there's there's one splitter that you need. It's basically just a you know the composite splitter, the red, white, yellow. And then once you got that. Pacers win 95-71. You can do the same thing we're doing now. It's pretty it's pretty simple, straightforward. If you're serious about doing it, I could definitely help you. Yeah. And it also um it also depends on console, right? Uh it does. Most of the stuff I do is retro, so I only need the composite cables. Um but the game capture cards are they all have HDMI in. So you can stream the more modern consoles. Yeah. But that's that's not what we're that's not what we're doing here in the Retro Sports League. Nope. Yeah. I I do that on my channel, but he does it on his channel, Super Luke Twenty Seven. Why did you uh, cut the AKA Cool Ninety Nine? Um, I thought it was too long, and a lot of people uh, a lot of people just were searching up Super Luke Twenty Seven. And I just went with that. Yeah. No, I think it was a good call. Yeah. Because it was really long. Right? Is it a super long name? Oh, uh, I wouldn't say it's super long. But still. It, it, super Loop 27 is just more straight to the point, so I like that. We didn't get any requests from you guys, so we got in two games of the Retro Sports League right now. Super Loop 27 made his debut. 19 threes for Miller, that is right. He's just draining threes all day long. A few goal tens in there. But we got no requests. And this guy, he's playing sports games. Adams wants to do the same thing. So, yeah, we gave you the tips, Adam. Um, if you're interested, you could hit me up. And I'll, I'll get you in the right direction. But, yeah, we're going to pick we're gonna pick another game out here. Not sure which one. But Nikki gave this one a 4.9 out of 5. If I was doing out of 5, uh, I would give th this version of NBA Jam like a, a 4.2. Oh, look X. Something like that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see another stream, we're going to do at least one more. We just got to pick out another game here. And we'll be back soon. So if you can't watch the next one, watch it later. If you can, then... We'll see you in a few moments. Yep. Yeah. Take care. Peace.